Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 roleplay as uh, Duchess Ida of Swabia this time. Swabia. Schwaben. Ida or Ida. I, I would pronounce it Ida. I think that's more Germanic. Uh, I've got some new audio settings running right now, so if this sounds good, please let me know. If it sounds bad, please also do let me know, but uh, provide me with some details so that I know how to fix it. Don't just say, you know, it's bad, then I don't know what to do. Anyways, uh, let's jump right into the roleplay. So, last episode did not go as planned. Our father died of an infection given to him by the witch who was going to uh, serve as our court physician in exchange for in, in exchange for um for a drop of our blood, which she evidently retrieved with a rusty knife. So now our mother is a widow. I can arrange a marriage for her, even though I'm very small. So yeah, I I've got a problem. How do I roleplay an eight-year-old girl in the year nine three? So I'm going to sort of pretend I'm, you know, my past wife here. Um, wait, no. This isn't my wife. My wife? This is... Wait, hold on. No, so there's Duke Herman. No, it is. Oh, she was married twice. She was married to uh, Birchard. Then Herman. Oh, so wait, we did... Did we marry... Ah, oh, this is weird. Hold on, let me check something. So this is a different house. Who owned this? So Conrad... Uh, oh, so our house just came into ownership of this title. Um, and then lost it, promptly. Well... We have dangerous factions. Countess Hisha for Swabia. Leader is Count Hugo of Sungo, and Countess Hisha is the claimant. My half sister. That's from that previous house that held this title. Uh, we can't really kill her, so. Guess we just have to roll with this, and uh, oh, hopefully, also, the uh, this incestuous thing doesn't uh, bite us in the ass. The defensive pact opposing Romanos Lekopenos has been disbanded. I've been out fishing for hours and still haven't caught a fish as big as uh, the servant's child got yesterday. If I wait long enough. I finally feel something bite. It's a huge fish, probably the biggest fish in Schwaben. They will tell stories of this day. So let's see. We gain Willful, which can go into Ambitious, Brave, or Stubborn. All traits that we want to have. I'm imagining potentially... Okay, oh, so I need to get uh, get ahead of myself here and not really... Or I need to not get ahead of myself and sort of temper my expect expectations because, um, as we know, mortality is high in uh, this period of history. However, we did survive past the, uh, the youngest years, which means we have a significantly higher chance of surviving into adulthood. But uh, that is, uh, you know, only taking into account natural course, uh, like natural um, causes of death. Of course, we could at any point get pushed off a balcony by someone who wants our title. <laughs> a mother is our educator. So, right now, I would be changing this to something like... Maybe Pride. Oh cool, so their height actually gets higher with uh, better looking garbs, I think. Uh, as they go grow older. Or that might be a change in default CK2, I don't remember. I don't remember this being a thing um, past when I played. So this must be better looking garbs that's doing this. So like, he he's taller now, he's almost at the top. Kind of indicating his age, I guess, then. That's really cool. And I did also see Ada pop up when she gained, uh, or when she became one year older. My marshal has discovered a man of great military talent called Erich. Erich, you are... Oh my god, excellent. Yes, he will join us. I can assemble a mercenary company uh, and get some money from him. Potentially, if he gets hired.
Um, no, I'm gonna gonna send Eric to become a mercenary. I'm gonna replace the bishop. Uh oh. Uh, Otto can now revoke titles. Sadly, Otto has shaved his beard in uh, better looking garbs. Which, uh, yeah, that makes me a bit sad. He rules out of Magdeburg. Oh, there's a plague. What kind of uh, disease is this? Or epidemic? Camp fever. So that is. Uh, which one is camp fever? Typhus. Okay. Hotpig seems very nice. Maybe I should ask if he wants to play. Sure, we we could use friends. Uh, timid. Get um. No, we want a friend. We don't want um. We don't want. Uh... Well, actually, no. We do want that. General opinion plus ten is going to be amazing. Yes, let's play. Cool. Uh, timid is a bad trait, I think, to a first have. We want to be uh, bold and brash and ambitious. King Tosta the Hunter. Dude, these guys look fucking awesome. Holy shit, dude. Count Mangold has arrested an armed man with a ragged armor and a spotty horse. He's a hedge knight. I'll lose some prestige, but that's fine. I'm not gonna arrest him. My uncle died. Count Odo Fritz died from a bad case of the flu. Now my heir is Count Gebhard of Fritzlar. Fritzlar. He's way up here. Eganolf is willing to serve in our ranks, okay? Eganolf is cool. Let's uh, replace another commander here. Okay, so now we have amazing commanders. Uh, we can probably set our marshal to stop doing that now. Set him to train troops instead. Dude, this music is awesome. When was this added? It's very loud though. I'm really digging it. It's created the Duchy of Holstein up here. I'm hard pressed to say which Paradox game has the best music, but in my it's got to be a tie between Crusader Kings 2 um, and Stellaris. Octoon 4 has really good music, but it's not as like... Like, this song is just awesome. It's probably going to be like a mod, and I'm, I'm uh, just, I've forgotten about it. Like some sort of like audio mod or something that I added, um, you know, several years ago and just was never cleaned out of the files. Let's nominate a successor for the Kingdom of Germany. Let us nominate someone of our kin. Uh, who is our heir? We can't nominate our heir, so we're going to nominate... <clears throat> Eric, Duke of Franconia.
Watara Keita. We shouldn't be getting any news about that stuff. I'm brave, nice. Didn't get ambitious, but brave is good enough. But good marshal, but um, I doubt we're gonna become a like a warrior queen. I think we're best fo uh, best off focusing on intrigue. So marshal will like we're more likely to get a good one because of stuff like um, rowdy and willful. I mean, we lost rowdy and willful, or we lost willful though, and became brave. So maybe we'll go with uh, Intrigue then. We can't assign our Guardian. If we could, I would assign someone with Amazing uh, Marshal and then choose the Marshal one. King Otto is just creating duchies left, right and center here. Which I suppose means that he's centralizing power, so he's basically bringing a bunch of smaller realms into larger realms, which means that he only has to relate to a, um, a, a, like a set lower amount of... Because in reality, that's what uh, the Middle Ages were. They were just like... Like, there was no feudal system. Uh, they were just a bunch of um, interpersonal relations, so... Uh, there was, yeah, so there was no, like, real, you know, feudal pyramid and all that. Like, this thing here, um, this thing, is uh, not representative of the re of reality. The reality of the situation was way more complex and way more chaotic. <clears throat> like, for example, um, Prince Archbishop Aldo uh, Dog. He doesn't answer solely to Otto. He he answers he probably answers to Otto, but he might also answer to someone else in a different regard. And also he answers to the Pope. And he might answer to someone else. Uh, <clears throat> meanwhile, we might have a duty to Otto. We might also have some sort of duty to a guy here in Italy. And people down here might have an, a duty to us, but not have any duty to Otto. So it was like a very um, uh, complicated system of, or not a system, but a like complicated jungle of like client uh, patron relations almost. Not quite though. Our steward is going to be. Uh, he's not going to be happy, so we're not going to make him a steward. That means that he's uh, going to be very unhappy with being uh, on the council. Lollard Hesser, Her uh, Hesser, Heresy has appeared in the county of Leenburg. Uh, let's do Conrad. Where is it? There it is. Is that the first appearance of the Lollard Heresy? That's the Valdensian one. I believe it is. Yeah. Nestorian, Myophysite, Christians, Zoroastrianism, still alive. The fire worshippers. Oh, what happened to our steward? Did he resign? Let's make Eberhard a councilman then. Uh, makes him more happy with us. King Otto of Germany has formed an alliance with King Hughes. Uh, Hughes the missionary. King of Italy. He looks pretty badass. Minus 27, what's that? Scarred. One-handed. Does he have any kills? No kills. Does Otto have any kills? He does. <clears throat> 
None, personally, though. Just a bunch of people who died in his dungeons. Cool, so Chancellor Count Heinrich has managed to calm down the peasantry. Or the courtiers. I'll give him five gold, sure, yeah. Let's invest some of our gold. That's what man we're betrothed to. He is stressed. Please do not die. Our new regent is Mangold of Shays. Let's uh, see how we're gonna play as him. Oh, we're, uh, never mind. We play as Ida now. She's only brave. So she's kind of a blank slate for us to, um, Manage. Our intrigue must be con oh, must be conducted with honor. That's stupid. Yeah, we should have gone martial now, but you can't change that. What the fuck happened to her? Lunatic Great Pox. Dude, she looks scary. Our intrigue must be conducted with honor. Oh well. We kind of suck at basically everything. Let's do, um... Diplomacy and fertility, we need a son. Let us marry. We need a court tutor, and that needs to be... Ah, oh, you would be good. Wait, no, that's... Shit, that's a witch that killed our father. You know what? It's viewed as tyrannical. She killed dad. Oh well. I guess uh, we've forgotten about that part. Eric is going to be a court tutor. And... She will no longer be court physician. So we're not we're not going to contain or uh, uh, um, collect uh, royal a uh, duty. We're going to display our wealth by not doing so. Man, this steward position just does not want to be filled. Guntram, Guntram, he fucking sucks at it, but I'll make him steward. Hopefully, he'll stick. High Almoner, handing out the alms. Valdo, Prince Bishop, that works, yeah. Seems uh, appropriate. And we'll also set him to uh, research cultural tech. Send for a court physician. One of your scouts reports of a cunning eunuch who has been taken up residence in a nearby tavern. The eunuch spends his time drinking wine, eating, and sharing stories with the guests. Apparently, he's very well schooled and has vast knowledge of medicinal mixtures. An offer of gold and food would definitely convince him to take up residence. Sure, yeah, we'll uh, take the drunken eunuch. Eunuch. He's lowborn, he's German. And I'm with child. Already. We need a regent. He is no longer a loyal servant. Let's see, who do we appoint regent? We should appoint someone who is a loyal servant to us. This guy's trusting, cynical, kind, charitable, and temperate. Adalbert seems like the kind of person we'd uh, appoint as a... Yeah, he's from... That house hasn't wronged us, as far as I know. 
On the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually becomes many, and, and time seems... Later, as you leave the council chamber, you stumble and fall on your face. You can feel a taste of blood in your mouth and dizziness setting in. Oh boy, what the fuck? 10% chance of dying, 30% chance of getting wounded. I need to a ask for help. I'm a drunkard. You notice Count Heinrich of Breisgau standing next to you. He seems to contemplate helping, but is not responding to your pleads. Just before you pass out, you see him bringing the rest of the councillors out, and they look at you in pity before they help you. Twenty-six percent chance to succeed. He's a special interest now. It's going to be my first child and I feel completely lost. What if I'm uh, doing something wrong? Like drinking? What if something bad happens? Like falling on your face. What should I do while I wait for, uh, for the day of my labor? I need to rest and avoid any hard task. I'm uncertain about my future. And I cannot stop worrying about the life of my unborn child. Perhaps I should make a vow to the Holy Virgin Mary and pray her to ease my tribulations and help me give birth to a strong and, uh, and a healthy child. I must do this. I decide what kind of vow I must take. I will be temperate and avoid all excess. I'm having a child. I can't be a drunk. Smoother skin, shining eyes, fuller curves. The changes brought by this pregnancy has made me more beautiful than I ever was in my entire life. Cool. It is well worth the nausea. Or I could, could become humble. Humble would be good. It's only 30% chance of getting that, though. Uh, we don't need 50 prestige, and that's only for 9 until... Uh, yeah, that's only for this year. Oh, we got humble. Nice. So now we can start to actually roleplay our character because we have some traits here. We don't like the king. Revoked a vassal, uh, revoked vassal titles. Which ones? Our king is also a tyrant. The regency has begun. And we have given birth to a son, Meinhard. Arnold? Oh, dude, Arnold Conrad in, uh, in there. Yeah, Arnold. Look at this little alien creature here. As is tradition, I should undergo my churching, as any good Christian mother does, and rejoin the Holy Church now that my body's been cleansed of all impurities. Yes, let us be reintroduced. Uh, let's see, what should we do here? We should, uh... I will confess all my sins. Feeling relieved. Feel whole and at peace once again, ready to put the pain and unclean memories of my labor behind, and move forward with my life. <clears throat> Catholic Church uh, and their treatment of women and pregnancy and all that is very, very strange. The Holy Virgin has blessed me with a healthy, strong boy. I must still keep true to my vow. Yes. We are good and Christian. Too little eating turned me into a shell of my former self. I've gained the malnourished trait. Whoa, boy. That's not good.
We will make Arnold proud. And his guardian will be... Mangold. Count of Schweiz. Or Schwiz. Ida the Plain. Duchess Ida the Plain. <clears throat> My liege, the people of Constantinople have progressed beyond our technological level. Yes, steal their tech. And our son is growing up. Still tiny, he doesn't have a lower body yet. He's only got his shoulders and up. But he'll get there. As he grows, this is how children are born and how they grow. First the head and then comes the rest. I've been spending more time with my husband Otto lately. Oh, we're falling in love. He's still stressed though. Let's form an alliance with him as well. I mean, don't you see the plane? She doesn't look bad. She's just kind of like messed up from the fact that she has a very unhealthy uh, relationship to alcohol and uh, food. Oh no. Alerted by a growing feeling of itchiness, you are, all, you are appalled to notice the appearance of a bright red rash on your body. Also, sorry, I just got a Discord notification. I thought I've got those muted when I was recording. Oh well. You are developing camp fever. There's no camp fever here though. I'll follow his instructions. To relieve you of your worst ailments, Wilhelm suggests you should spend more time in prayer. Wilhelm, please, I need actual medical help. Oh my god, I look messed up. After I made another courtier cry, the third one in a short week, I felt a bit embarrassed. Is this really who I am? A cruel woman who likes to hurt people. I'm a drunkard now. I'm getting into some sort of shit with, um, with God, it seems, because he's punishing me. Ida? Is not ha uh, having a good time right now. She's had a difficult life. Though she did not become cruel. Okay. And that's the game telling us the path we're going. <clears throat> so we should not go cruel then. Anyways, we are at the end of the video, so thank you for watching. If you're interested in reaching me on social media, you can do so using the links in the description down below. Twitter uh, and Discord are the best way to, ways to contact me. Also, uh, I've created, or I've started tentatively thinking about using my Twitch account, so there's a link to my Twitch account in the description down below if you'd like to follow me there uh, and keep abreast of any times when I might go live. Uh, at the moment, I'll just opportunistically go live whenever I feel like it. Uh, I don't have any plans for a regular streaming schedule because I feel like you kind of need to build up the audience first. And uh, also, if you'd like to buy this game, there's a Humble Bundle link in the description down below. Uh, currently, the Iron Sentry is free for everyone, so you don't need to buy anything to get that if you want to play this bookmark. Mod list is also in the description down below if you want to play a game identical to mine. And that is about it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.